DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, is known for the wide range of research and development programs it runs to open pathways toward technologies that can further the cause of national security. Each program is most often known by its very own acronym, so for all of those returning to school or just to their normal post-summer routines, DARPA offers its own version of the ABCs. A is for ACEs, atomic clock with enhanced stability, because the better the clocks, the better the timing, the positioning, and the navigating. B is for Bolt, broad operational language translation, because it is easier to get along with anybody if you can understand what they're saying. C is for code, collaborative operations in denied environment, because unmanned aerial vehicles should be able to work together even in places where GPS and communications don't reach. D is for DLT, dialysis-like therapeutics, because portable blood cleaners could stop sepsis in the field and save thousands and thousands of lives. E is for ELM, engineering living materials, because wouldn't it be convenient if we could grow infrastructure much the way trees grow from seeds? F is for FLA, fast, lightweight autonomy, because why bother with a joystick when your unmanned aerial vehicle can maneuver on its own? G is for GXVT, ground X vehicle technologies, because combat vehicles in the future should rely on mobility and machine smarts, as well as armor to stay safe. H is for HACMS, high assurance cyber military systems, because we need to keep hackers' hands off of our pacemakers and printers and our data and sensors. I is for intercept, interfering and co-evolving prevention and therapy, because it's about time that fast-evolving health-wrecking viruses met their nemeses. J is for JUMP, the Joint University Microelectronics Program, because some of the best ideas for next-generation technologies start as glimmers in graduate students' eyes. K is a letter in need of a DARPA acronym. Please let us know if you have good ideas, okay? L is for LOCO, Local Control of Materials, because it's just plain crazy not to tailor new materials from the atomic scale on up. M is for Muse, mining and understanding software enclaves, because improving how we build, debug, and understand software can draw on the capacious caches of code already out there. N is for NSD, neural engineering system design, because brains and computers are a translation system away from having conversations that will blow each other's minds. O is for open manufacturing, because innovative methods for delivering high quality, reliable, and inexpensive manufactured goods translates into defense systems that warfighters can use with confidence. P is for perfect, power efficiency revolution for embedded computing technologies, because computers that hardly need any power at all would be the lightest, easiest to carry computers of all. Q is for QORS, Quantum Orbital Resonance Spectroscopy, because it takes some finesse with photons and quantum mechanics to diagnose brain injury in the field instead of in the clinic. R is for RSGS, Robotic Servicing of Geosynchronous Satellites, because satellites in orbit need mechanical tune-ups too, even when they're 22,000 miles overhead. S is for Spark, shared spectrum access for radar and communications, because to push ever more signals through air and space, our wireless systems need to get smart at sharing the electromagnetic spectrum. T is for Thor, technologies for host resilience, because if you can't purge infectious agents from a patient, it's worth finding ways for patients to live well with the agents. U is for Upside, unconventional processing of signals for intelligent data exploitation because digital processing need not be the only game in town when nanoscale cleverness could yield more intelligence, reconnaissance, and surveillance than ever. V is for Visar, video synthetic aperture radar, because seeing through clouds with eagle eye clarity means that clouds need not get in our visual way. W is for WDN, wireless defense network, because a communications network breached in one location should still work securely everywhere else. X is for X data, because in an era of big data, it makes sense to make sense of the vast volumes of imperfect and incomplete data. Y is for YFA, the Young Faculty Award Program, because old and brilliant technology developers start as young and brilliant technology developers. Z is for Z-Man, because when it comes to climbing walls, why shouldn't humans be as good as geckos? So those are DARPA's ABCs. For more information about the programs mentioned here, 
as well as the other breakthrough technologies DARPA is developing, visit DARPA.mil.